Dante's Boxer Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, outside of the controversial decision, this is the beauty of the sport of boxing. A fight that you thought, or a fight that was perceived as just an easy fight for Regis Pro Grade to get on to the next and possibly get a big significant fight turned out to be such a tough fight that I personally thought that Regis Pro Grade, he lost this fight. He was knocked down in the first round and uh, Zarilla didn't get credit for the knockdown. Zarilla, he did a great job of controlling distance and range. And Regis, he was having a lot of problems with the distance and range. He couldn't really get on the inside. Even when he did get on the inside, he would let his hooks go. But Zarilla, he would just lean back and he would counter him. So it could have been a combination of the pressure of uh, Regis Progray fighting in his own backyard. But you have to attribute most of it to Zorilla doing a great job. Zorilla, he was really outboxing uh, Regis Progre in this fight. However, because I'm still taking care of business, I was moving around a lot when I was watching the fight. I was watching the majority of it, but I was moving around. So after I finish taking care of the business I'm taking care of right now, I'm going to go back and watch the whole fight again. But from what I've seen, it looked to me like uh, Zorilla won the fight. Now, with this performance by Regis, I do believe that fighters like Ryan Garcia, even Teofimo Lopez, they're definitely going to go after Regis. This was a bad performance, and it really should have been two fighters, Josh Taylor and Regis Progre, losing back-to-back, -back, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. So, uh, we'll see how this plays out. Uh, the good news for Regis is, once again, now... More people will be willing to get in the ring with them after that performance. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called Elo De Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling and inflammation and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to elodekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.